So, good evening folks. How you doing? Uh, I left Glasgow this morning at 11 o'clock. So I have drove up north today for another wee outdoors adventure. Uh, so I'm about 5-10 five, five, minutes into the walk from the car park where I left the car. So, slightly going up hill just a wee bit there. On the far northwest of Scotland. Um, Probably not too far from Millerpool, that sort of area. So, just left the car, so I'm just walking in, you can see I've got a big heavy pack. So, the plan is to uh, get camp, set my tent up, and uh, get settled for the night, and then tomorrow, uh, a big day ahead, the weather's looking favourable. Uh, it's quite nice just now, the sun's out behind the trees in front of me. Uh, I had actually booked into a hotel five minutes along the road uh, and I was supposed to uh, walk in tomorrow and camp and walk on Tuesday uh, but I've decided because of the weather reports just to bring it forward a day. So I've uh, gave up my booking in the hotel tonight and uh, I'm just going to walk in and uh, get my tent set up and do the walk tomorrow rather than the day later with the rain's forecast so hopefully uh, that works out well uh, I'm giving up my hotel for the night favourable weather uh, reports tomorrow so hopefully it's a right good day because it's a big day uh, big holes uh, one Corbett and five Monroes, so a big toughie. Cheers, I know. Hello there. <coughs> That's me been walking for uh, exactly an hour. It's now seven o'clock. Oh, so I left the car at six, obviously. Um, so slowly getting there. Um, into where I'm planning to put my tent tonight. Uh, next to Chenevel Bothy. Um, but up behind me is a very well known mountain here, uh, Anchelac and that's the, the pinnacles of it that's a great um, and rotary walk over um, very narrow um, quite exposed um, so a very well known uh, mountain in this area, Anchelac fantastic walk if you ever fancy doing it uh, but a bit scary at times as well so keep that in mind Anyway, I'm going to crack on, uh, maybe have another hour to get to um, where I'm putting my tent. Cheers or no? Hello again folks, it's uh, exactly 8 o'clock, two hours have been uh, on the go now, uh, so I don't think I'm very far away from where I was planning to put my tent, uh, but just coming here. That wee hill there, I've come down into this sort of wee valley and uh, just in front of me is stunning view so I'm going to swing the camera around and let you see the sun's uh, slightly setting uh, to the side of the mountain um, it's absolutely glorious uh, anybody that's up in the summits camping will be um, loving it so I'll swing the camera around and give you a wee look, it's stunning Absolutely beautiful. What a spot. The sun just came down nicely. So I better get a move on. Get down to where I'm putting the tent, get the tent up. Cheers. Good evening folks. Um it's quarter to eleven at night. Um, I've just been outside the tent for a wee while, just um, staring up at the stars. Uh, it's a nice wee starry night, um, loads of stars out, so I'm just outside the tent for a wee while. Um, but as I say, I've come in there, uh, it's quarter to eleven, and uh, I think I'm going to try and get the heat done. Uh, got my long johns and stuff, um, a, wee therm a wee warm top in my sleeping bag, so I'm going to get changed into that. Uh, take some of these clays on that 
Clay's half that I've had on the day and uh, hopefully nice and comfy and get a good night's sleep. Cheers. Good morning, good morning. It's uh, quarter past seven. Um, I woke up there about seven, I think. Um, I slept all right, I think, for went in my bed about, I think it was 11, back at 11. And uh, amazingly, uh, I didn't get up once for the toilet during the night, although I probably I felt like it a few times having to get up, but I was just so comfy I wasn't getting up. So tossed and turned a bit as well with the cold. It's a wee bit chilly. Um, but somehow managed to get a full night in the tent without getting up for the toilet, so that was amazing. Uh, but on a, a bad note, um, when I went to get water last night, my water filter bottle has ripped at the tap, um, just at the join, at the bit you screw the lid on. So I don't know how I'm going to now get through the full day uh, without any filtered water. So that's a bit of a headache, so I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Um, Nightmare to be, be honest. So, going to get up now for the toilet. Good. Hopefully, it's uh, nice and dry. Um, get the show on the road. Cheers. Well, good morning. That's uh, five to nine. Uh, I'm just about to set off, that's me ready uh, to leave my tent off, oh, nearly forgot my walking poles, glad I seen them. Uh, so grab my poles, um, I'm heading out of, out of that way, to go up the shoulder, like that. Uh, there's Chernobyl Bothy again, or Chernobyl, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, 5 to 9. It's looking a bit overcast, but the forecast is hopefully uh, going to be a bit better later on. Um, so fingers crossed it's a, a good day, just a wee bit worried about this water situation with this burst uh, water filter, um, trying to get the water out that into, into that through the filter, no bursting out of the other place so hopefully I can sort that. Cheers anyway. All the cows there with your young calves. I just on an early path, so I had to take a wee detour around them. You don't want to walk too close to them in case they maybe protect the young. Go for you or something. Scary big beasts if you're close up to them. So a wee detour around the path there. Loads of them just eating away at the grass. They weren't too far from Sean and Wobothy last night. They were all just a few of them outside it. I wouldn't have liked them sniffing about my tent during the night. Hello there folks, uh, that's me been walking now for 
um, just over an hour and a half, it's 25 to 11. Um, so I've gained a wee bit of height and I can see my route ahead now. I need to make my way up there, um, through the rocks, uh, just below the grassy but it looks quite difficult for here but once you're on it you're so tiny that you find a way there'll be a path probably. <coughs> So that's my plan, I need to get up there, up the top of that, right up to the summit, that's a cord bit, that's the first half of the day. So I've still got a good wee bit to go there before I'm even at the first one. If I swing round there, uh, that's angelic, uh, look magnificent, so what a mountain that is. Right, so better get my skates on and try and uh, work my way through there, up to the summit. Cheers. Well, hello there. Um, I found a path there that snaked its way uh, through the rocks in and out and up the hillside. Uh, so I'm only a slightly flatter bit just now. Uh, but as you can see behind me, I've still got that boulder field to get up. So once I'm up the top of there, I don't think I should be too far for the summit of this cord bit. Uh, but still a, another wee bit to go. Hard wee slog there coming up there. Tough going. That's uh, 5 past 11, just after 2 hours. Came for a way down there somewhere. And uh, that again is angelic with its pinnacles. Over in the distance. Right, so here we go. Next wee bit today. Hello there. At last, that's me up onto the, the part of the ridge. Uh, so I've got a long walk along there to the summit of this cord bit But uh, I'm glad I'm after that wee steep pull up, pull up Give the calves a wee rest So Straight ahead for the Summit of this cord bit Tough going there You can feel it in the calves 20 past 11 But uh, I'm so glad I've got the views, it's absolutely stunning up here if you're into your hill walking or your outdoors, it's an area you need to come to. Uh, the views are just fantastic. I'll give a wee swing run. Out to see it that way. And Chelak again, obviously. Uh, and out the boat me and Chelak is uh, Seanaville, my tent a wee bit down the boat me. That's a corbett straight across. That's the ridge straight ahead where I'm heading. So I'm still up on the ridge. Uh, it turns out the ridge is a bit longer uh, than I first thought. So I thought I'd uh, stop here down by these rocks. I uh, had a wee sandwich, something to eat there. Put my fleece on, I was getting a bit chilly. Uh, so that's the rest of the ridge up to the summit. And in the distance behind that is my first man rope. Pardon me. With the boulder field on it, so that's the first Monroe um, second summit. So this uh, this cord bit I'm aiming for just in front of me along the ridge. This used to be uh, classed as a Monroe, and that's why this uh, walk, the big horseshoe walk, it's called the Fisher Field Six. Um, so many people just still include it um, after it was declassified. Yeah, that's me at the summit of the first cord bit. Just another five to go, that's all. <laughs> big, big day ahead still. That's the cord bit in the ridge behind it. Swing round. I've got there to go. That's the first man rope. So, onwards and upwards. Hello there. This is me at the summit of the first Monroe, but the second summit of the day. Uh, Skewer Van, or Skewer Van, I think it's pronounced. There it's there. Hello there. That's my third Monroe just straight in front of us. Uh, with a boulder field, and there's a wee path going through it. I hope the camera can pick that up. That's going to be a tough old slog to make my way up through that. But that's the third one of the day. It's now uh, 25 past 1 
Uh, so I need to make my way down off this second Munro, uh, sorry, first Munro, second summit, to that third one. Uh, so make my way down that path, right down to the Bealak, and then I've got the tough slog up to reach uh, Munro number two, summit number three. Cheers. <laughs> Hello there, that's me just at the summit of the uh, second Monroe but the third uh, summit today One Corbett, second Monroe, so third one uh, Just absolutely fantastic, it's just stunning scenery that's just, <coughs> that's just looking back up to the summit where I was just a few minutes ago uh, but got a wee bit busy so I just came along the ridge a wee bit and uh, just oh, just sat down here for a wee drink of water and I'm going to have a wee snack so that's where I, that was the summit just a couple of minutes ago so that was the last summit I was at so I've dropped down from there um, I don't know if you can see the Burns jacket, there's a couple still up there just making their way down through it. Anyway, I dropped down from there. Uh, I've skirted round the bottom of this hill, there's a bypass path which I'm on just now. Um, that's it in front of me. So, I'm going to follow this wee path. And then, up there is my next target. So it's been a tough wee slog making my way up through that, so time to crack on, it's now 5 to 3, so still get a really good, really good distance still to go, so I really want to be back at the tent for 9 because that'll be dark by then, cheers and out. Hello there, that's me, uh, summit number 4 of 6 today. Uh, no much of a summit cairn on this one, that's it, just a wee pile of rocks next to my walking poles. Well obviously if I show you there, that shows you the distance I've came today. Number one up there, number two, number three, then a big drop. And then a, wee, a big climb up to this one, so I'm feeling a wee bit new in the legs. Twenty past three. So, that's the, that's the distance of came, the three that I covered over there. Absolutely fantastic. What a day it is. Couldn't have asked for better conditions. Remember folks, if you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you. More videos coming soon. Looking back to the three I've done. And Chilak get the away in the distance. So we've still got a good bit to go. Gonna go along there, drop down onto that sort of flat top bit that's nicknamed the tennis court. Across that, drop down the other side of that, forward the ridge, all the way around. Up onto that one over there, another Monroe, and then I think that's the, that'll be the sixth one just across for it. So, still a good bit to go. And then I've got obviously a very long uh, walk back out to the beginning. But as you can see, it's just absolutely stunning today, brilliant. Bit knackered, but I'm feeling good. As you can see, just been rows and mountains for as far as the eye can see. Not sure, not hundred percent sure, but I think that's the Torridon ones um, over there in the distance. You can see a way out to the islands as well. Just 
just absolutely amazing. So there's a wee wind, a wee bit chilly. Uh, so I'm not going to hang about here. I'm going to drop a bit of height, maybe get something to eat when I'm a wee bit lower. Right, time to go.